Good afternoon, and uh, thank you for this opportunity to uh, speak to Council. Um, my submission is a very simple one. Um, we live in pretty challenging times, and this is evident in the financial challenges facing Council. Uh, as a public, we seem to have uh, very high aspirations um, on um, what we do. Uh, what we'd like is a city in Christchurch, but I don't think uh, our budget meets uh, those aspirations. A couple of uh, points. First and foremost, in terms of the replacement of some of the large assets, um, it seems to me that we should be looking more towards a process by which we replace uh, like for like. Um, I don't see the justification, for instance, in having a library roughly double the size of the one uh, that's being replaced at um, several times the insurance proceeds that we're likely to get to replace it. Uh, secondly, on the matter of the uh, town hall, uh, as another for instance, um, I just think that's a complete waste of money. Uh, the council will end up having a whole lot of public assets that are underutilised and will probably uh, generate ongoing operating losses into the future. Uh, and there might be other options. One I've suggested is uh, perhaps having an auditorium with good acoustics as part of the convention centre and making a contribution to, as part of the cost sharing process to central government um, to fund that aspect of the convention centre. Just a couple of ideas. Uh, the last one, and I know this has been voted on and also uh, housing accords signed with government last year, uh, but it seems to me in reading through the council accounts um, they're rather opaque, or my ability to read accounts is poor, uh, probably a combination of the two. Um, from what I can deduce, social housing loses significant millions of dollars per year. I don't expect that's going to change over time. And uh, the asset value is probably several hundred million dollars. As a council, as I understand it, we wish to um, enter into some form of negotiation at some point in time around cost sharing with uh, government. Uh, the government um, is going to be politically very averse to providing more capital to this council, I suspect. So what I'm suggesting is how about doing a straight swap social housing, which uh, is a central government issue in most other cities, um, in return for a uh, capital injection. That's all I have to say. And so, um, so Wellington hasn't got social housing? You know, I mean, there's actually only one city that's sold its social housing. That's Auckland, and that gets all the publicity. Well, it's normal for councils to have social housing. Yeah. The council, um, this council always uh, almost boasts that we're the second biggest landlord in New Zealand after Housing New Zealand. That's right, because and Auckland sold its... Yeah, and, and that may be the case. Um, all I'm suggesting is that in straightened times, um, where by the council's own publications it would have to lift rental incomes by 46%, uh, and it can't do that, that um, another alternative exists. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, is that we have a whole strategy around social housing, which you probably read um, as part of the LTP process, which takes... Um, uh, well, I mean, social housing has never cost the ratepayers of Christchurch a cent, not one single cent ever Very in difficult our to entire history. that from the accounts. Yeah. Um, Glenn? Thank you. I'm going to ask a question. Thank you for your submission. Uh, just to say at the moment we are in the process of moving uh, to a, uh, becoming a community housing provider, so to attract the income related rent subsidy, our tenants are charged about the same, slightly less, but we attract that, that difference up to the market level. But my question is around what do you see as other options for our social housing tenants uh, for whom we've been providing since 1938 if uh, we ourselves pull out of social housing? Uh, I really see this as uh, something that we should be negotiating with central government. Now, I'm not here to debate the rights or wrongs of whether you know, Auckland's decision was a good one or a poor one. Um, however, um, the, the fact is that the ratepayers of Auckland are not holding a potential liability for that housing like we as ratepayers in Christchurch are. Now, if I understand the papers correctly, the Council's proposal to put it into some form of trust arrangement has the Council, I think, owning 49%, and that's the rules of central government uh, going forward. I don't see any compensation for effectively giving up 51% of the equity of that housing into that. It's, it's leased. It's leased. the operational that's yeah. the 49 51 split. We still retain 100% ownership. Right, OK. Well, then yeah. it's the ownership that I'm suggesting could uh, be a mechanism by which to negotiate with central government. Yeah. Phil? So as, as you'll understand, our, our um, government are 
entering into negotiations around a, a lease aspect of our social housing. So, in fact, following your suggestion though, if the government say we're not going to give you any more around this, what what would you do then in terms of the of the people who live in the social housing? You've got any other suggestions? Um, well, to me, if, if, the, if the government isn't prepared to step into that um, mark, then I think that's quite a large political issue for uh, central government and, and something that I think uh, to some degree there'll be a lot of support for having that argument publicly uh, out of the city with central government. Look, thank you very much. I thank appreciate you. your time. That's um, food for thought there. Uh, Wayne McClintock.